Welcome to KIT Upper Body. This workout focuses on primarily toning and strengthening your arms and shoulders. Let's get started with a warm up. First things, we're going to start with that boxer shuffle. Hands up, keeping that core nice and tight. You're on the ball of your feet. Okay, you're breathing in through your, sh through your nose, out through your mouth. There we go, relax those shoulders. Moving back and forth. We're gonna switch. Here we go, my right foot is forward, left foot is back. Relax, core tight. We're gonna switch. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go into big jab crosses, okay? Jab with your front, cross with your back. We're stretching, keeping those elbows in, bring them straight back into your body. Push, nice, full, big punches. Make sure that you pivot off your back foot and you push that shoulder and your hip on that jab. And switch it. Hands up. Remember, we're, we're warming up. There we go. Good job. Keep that core tight. Breathe. Focus on your technique. There we go. A couple more. And let's switch. Now we're going to go into hooks, okay? We're going to start with your left hand, right hand. Make sure that you pivot. You pivot. You turn your hip. You turn those shoulders. Bring that elbow all the way around. Elbow up. Fist to the side. Nice and big. We're warming up. There we go. Core tight. A couple more. We're going to switch. Opposite side. And switch. Hands up. Ready? Hook, hook, pivot, pivot. Bring it all the way around. Good job. Couple more. Open, 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 open big. When I say open big, you're getting a nice good hook in. All that stretch. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your back, and switch. Good job. Let's go into those uppercuts. Hands up, I'm gonna drop my front hand, bring it up, back hand, bring it up, okay? Pivot. Nice and big uppercuts. Feel your lower body all the way to your shoulders, your back. When I said lower ba body, lower back. Keeping that core nice and tight. Pivot. Couple more, we're gonna switch. Big uppercuts, big. And switch. Start with my front hand. Pivot, pivot. Keep that rhythm going, keep that pace. Core nice and tight, breathe. There we go. Keep going, keep going. A couple more. In. There we go. All right. Let's start our workout. We're going to start with round one. Okay, we're going to start with a push up on the floor. All right. As I come down, put your knees down if you want or full plank into push up position. All right, we're going to come down into a push up. We're going to add a punch. Push up, punch, push up. Make sure that your hands are right underneath your shoulders. You wanna keep that core nice and tight. There we go. Bend those elbows. Breathe. Good job. If you have your knees down like me, make sure that your glutes are down. Okay, so we're in an angle. There we go. Couple more. Perfect. Last one. Ooh, there we go. Now let's hold that plank. Okay, you could hold it here or we could go down onto our elbows. Let's start here. Hold. Core nice and tight. Feel it on those shoulders. There we go. Ooh. Keep going. Make sure that your head is aligned to your shoulders. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Breathe. Focus on balancing your weight in your core area. There we go, a couple more seconds. You wanna hold it for about 45 seconds, okay? There we go. 
and all the way up. Nice job. All right. Now we're going to go into jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. Jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. And you could do this as fast as you can, okay? Or you could add that resistance. How do you add resistance? By the pivot, by the push. There we go. Focus. Focus on that technique. Focus on reading your body. Punch forward. Pick an object right in front of you. Imagine it. There we go. Always that same spot. And let's switch it over to the other side. Couple of them. There we go. I started with my right. Feel those arms. There we go. Work that upper body. Make sure that your lower body correlates with your upper body. It moves. Those hip moves. Your feet move. There we go. Last one. Push. Good job. There we go. All right, here we go. Rapid hooks. Okay, this is our rest time. Non-stop. Out. Out. There we go. Imagine you're hitting a stomach. Side to side. There we go. Switch it. Breathe. Woo, feel those shoulders. Feel that core every time you pivot. Nice, nice job, guys. All right, now we're gonna move on to a couch, uh, a chair, anything you have, okay? We're gonna go into dips. So you wanna hand your hands aligned to your hips onto the side, make sure that you're nice and balanced, core nice and tight. You're gonna bring it down. Make sure there's no pressure on those shoulders. Right, as soon as your elbows are down, you bend your elbows, push up, up, up. Keep that core tight. It's easy to let go of that core, but keep it tight. There we go. Good job. Keep going. Breathe. Feel that burn. Couple more. Nice, good job guys. All right, now we get to sit on the couch or table or here, little bench that I have, stool. All right, now you want your core nice and tight. You wanna bring your shoulders back. It's really important that you have your upper body nice and tall, okay? And we're gonna hit over the head, up. So if you have some dumbbells, this is the movement that you would be doing. You could even push some dumbbells right now. If you have those dumbbells, make sure that you're controlling the weight. Keep that core nice and tight and bring those elbows back in. And hold it for a split second. There we go, keep punching. You wanna add that resistance. Breathe. Woo. Good job guys, keep going. Good. Couple more seconds. Nice job, finish it off. Awesome job. That was round one. You ready? Let's go into round two. Okay, first move this chair. There we go. Okay, round two, we're gonna hit the floor again for those push-ups, okay, with that punch, keeping core nice and tight. Again, align your hands to your shoulders. You could go a little bit wider if you want. And let's go. Alternate it. There we go. Keep that core tight. Keep going. Couple more. Here we go, last one. Both sides. Good job. Let's go for that plank. Ready? 
I'm gonna bring my elbows down, so they're aligned to my rib cage, and hold it. Hold it. Put your hands flat on the floor. Think of anything but the pain that you're about to feel. <laughs> hold, hold. Breathe. There we go. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep it going, keep it going. Good job. And relax. Awesome job. Get a nice stretch. We're going to come up now. We're going to go into those jab cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Ready? Get in your stance. Technique's very important. Push out, push out. Make sure that you're pivoting. There we go. Nice. Jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. There we go. Woo, after the plank, you feel those shoulders that core tight. There we go. Make sure that your elbow always comes back in. Nice. Keep that core tight. Relax those shoulders. That way you're not putting too much strain. There we go. And let's switch it. Other side. Ready? Jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. And again, you could go as quick as you can. I suggest that first you start with your technique. Okay, once you get that technique going, that's gonna get you those results quicker. Okay, once you get that technique, then you could speed it up as quick as you can. Ba, ba, hook, hook, up, up. There we go. I still want you to push up. Even when you're going quick, I want you to make sure that you're doing a full motion. There we go. One more, one more. There we go. And let's start with those hooks. Ready, nice and quick. And go. Turn your hips. It's a little bit harder to pivot when you're going so quick. But make sure that those hips are turning. That way your core is as well turning with your shoulders. Switch. Hook, hook. There we go. Nice. Good job, awesome job guys, stretch it out. All right, now we're gonna go into those dips. Whew. We're almost done, there we go. All right, again, align your hands, feet to your hips, core nice and tight. All right, here we go. Bend those elbows and take it. Perfect, upper body nice and tall, core nice and tight. And you could play with your feet, not play with them literally, but extending them, making it a little bit harder. Okay, there we go. Good job. Couple more. Nice. Good job. Okay, shoulders back. Here we go. Hands up. Want those elbows tucked in. And let's start hitting over, over forehead, one after the other. Notice that I picked up my pace a little bit on this one. Okay, so the first round, I was telling you how to, you could keep a dumbbell on your hands. On this one, you could just do that burnout. You still feel it. Good job. Trust me. Nice, good tone right here. You could still keep those dumbbells. You don't want to go higher than five or 10, okay? Depending on your, your ability. Okay, if you're just a beginner, I recommend with a three or no weights at all. There we go. Good job. Woo. Feel it right here. Awesome. Okay, round three. Here we go. Get rid of this on this side a little bit. Okay, we're going to go down for those push ups and that punch, keeping that core nice and tight. Ready? And let's go. Focus. Make sure that you're pushing that hand all the way out. Try to keep your hips aligned, okay? Keep those hips aligned. 
I know I'm talking, but you're still working, right? There we go. Keep those hips aligned. Push those, those punches out, all right? There we go. Couple more. Nice. Good job. Stretch it back. Here we go. We're going to go into that plank. Ready? Hold it. Core nice and tight. Feel your core suck in. It's contracting. Make sure that your shoulders are aligned to your elbows. You want to make it harder, separate your hands. And just breathe. Breathe, breathe. Focus on that, keeping that core nice and tight. Okay? Aligned. Aligned, aligned. A couple more seconds. Chin up. There we go. Nice. Good job. And relax. Perfect. All right. Let's go into those jab crosses, hooks, and uppercuts. Ready? Again, at your own speed. We're on ride three now. So let's go. Jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. Nice. Keep going. Remember, you could add that power, and that's that resistance. Again, you want to hold the three pound weight, dumbbell. We could do that, but we just go a little bit slower. Good job. There we go. Pivot. Nice. There we go. One more, we're going to switch. Perfect. Keep those hands up. Ready? Push that shoulder, that hip out for that jab. Cross. Pivot on those uppercuts and that hook. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows in. Good job. There we go. Focus on that target that you picked. A couple more. Nice. And there we go. Let's go with those hooks. Nice and quick, okay? Core tight. Remember, you're moving those hips. Ready? Let's go. Burn it out. Keep it going. Good job. Perfect switch. Let's go. Keep that core tight. Try to bring your fist back into your elbow. Turn your elbow to your chin. Good job. Nice. All right, now we're going to go into those dips. Whew. We're almost done. There we go. All right, again, align your hands. Okay, to your hips. Core nice and tight. All right, here we go. Bend those elbows and take it. Perfect. Upper body, nice and tall. Core nice and tight. And you could play with your feet, not play with them literally, but extending them, making it a little bit harder. Okay, there we go. Good job. Couple more. Nice. Good job. Okay. Shoulders back. Here we go. Hands up. You want those elbows tucked in. And let's start hitting over, over forehead, one after the other. Notice that I picked up my pace a little bit on this one. Okay, so the first round, I was telling you how to, you could keep a dumbbell on your hands. On this one, you could just do that burnout. You still feel it. Good job. Trust me. Nice, good tone right here. You could still keep those dumbbells. You don't want to go higher than five or 10, okay? Depending on your, your ability. Okay, if you're just a beginner, I recommend with a three or no weights at all. There we go. Good job. Woo. Feel it right here. And that was the end of upper body KIT. Awesome job.